Hello, my name is Mike Grimes. I'm currently a junior at Michigan State University, and for my final project, I'll be talking about green roofs. So what are green roofs? A green roof is a conventional roof replacement where the roof is covered by a living membrane instead of a traditional impervious surface. Now that you have a general understanding of a green roof, I'll dig deeper into the technology and the benefits of this new idea. To start, a green roof is not as simple as planting grass on your roof. A green roof consists of layers to best capture rainwater and increase insulation. These layers help to capture the solar energy that is normally absorbed by conventional roofs. This helps lower the thermal emittance of the building, which is the relative ability of the roof surface to radiate absorbed heat. This visual really helps to show you how a green roof captures energy from the sun to insulate the building. Studies have shown a green roof can reduce the need for air conditioning up to 75%. A green roof also benefits the building in the winter when the insulating ability of the roof reduces the heat consumption by around 20%. You can see in this image how a green roof helps insulate the building. And the next major benefit of green roofs is reducing water runoff. Green roofs are designed to capture water that would otherwise end up on the street. In the summertime, a green roof would retain about 80% of the runoff that would occur on current impervious roofs. Green roofs also become living spaces for ground nesting birds, squirrels, and all types of insects. This shows how green roofs benefit not only humans, but an extensive ecosystem. The next benefit of a green roof is reducing the urban heat island profile. In metropolitan areas, it is a lot warmer than the rural areas surrounding it. We need to work to reduce this, and green roofs do exactly that. Green roofs capture the heat and carbon dioxide, reducing the heat island profile and fighting global warming. Another benefit of green roofs is providing a living space for humans. As you can see in this picture, they incorporated a pathway onto the green roof, which would otherwise be a use of space. This pathway, combined with a green roof, provides a living space for both humans, insects, and small animals. Now I'll be showing some examples of green roofs around the world, starting with Sweden. This is a traditional hut, unlike anything that would be implemented into East Lansing, but you can see how the roof clearly insulates the building and the technology used here is more advanced than old huts. Here's a modern example of a green roof use. The British Horse Society uses a green roof not only to help the environment, but as a source of identity. The roof represents the purpose of the building, and I feel like green roofs around East Lansing would fit the identity of our school well. The next example I found is of Chicago City Hall. This building would otherwise be made of a concrete roof like so many other skyscrapers in major cities. This roof benefits the building and the city by reducing the heat island profile and diversifying the concrete jungle. The last example I wanted to use is Ford Motor Company in Dearborn, Michigan. They prefer to call this roof a living roof instead of a green roof. I feel like that word is very fitting. This roof is over 10 acres big and is one of the largest living roofs in the world. This example proves how a living roof can successfully be implemented into the Michigan climate. We can implement living roofs on top of all flat buildings across campus. As you can see in this image, there are far too many impervious surfaces. If we are thinking about our future, we need to implement these roofs as soon as possible. The great thing about East Lansing is living roofs would be cheap to implement. East Lansing has many buildings with a large surface area on the roof. This makes living roofs more beneficial to the building itself and the environment as a whole. My last question for you is why not? Living roofs make their money back in close to 10 years, provide a space for humans and entire ecosystems to gather, and help the environment in numerous ways. There is simply no reason why living roofs should not be the standard.